So the Lost Prayer Project is a year-long exhibit here at Penn State. Uh, the sculptures were installed the 24th of August in uh, 2021, and uh, they'll be here through the end of August this year, 2022. Uh, I'm not sure where the sculptures are headed uh, yet, uh, but I'm excited to say that the passenger pigeon sculpture is going to remain at Shavers Creek uh, in perpetuity. We had a generous gift by a local philanthropist, Cyrus Glingsburg, who also named the aviary at Shavers Creek. And so you'll be able to come see the passenger pigeon at Shavers Creek for years and years to come. Artist Todd McGrain, who created the Lost Bird Project, was interested in really looking at how humans interact with the environment, specifically through the lens of birds. And so the five species that he chose uh, were all primarily found in the eastern United States. And so uh, with the colonization of the eastern seaboard, uh, we saw the disappearance of the Labrador duck. Uh, we saw the great auk disappear in the North Atlantic. And then inland, we lost the uh, heath hen. We lost. Uh, passenger pigeon, which was considered to be the most numerous bird on the planet, and North America's native uh, parrot, the Carolina parakeet, uh, also went extinct, uh, which had once ranged all the way up to Minnesota. And so I thought that, that was an interesting way to look at these birds, look at the landscape that we live in now, and just imagine that one, at one time in the past there were parrots, parrots flying through here. Yeah, we have a number of uh, birds in the area that are what we call species of concern. Uh, some of them are endangered potentially as breeding species. They may be here in the winter, but uh, very, very low numbers or non-existent in the summertime. But we're also interested in focusing on the common birds and the birds that are common. And so Rosalie Edge, who is the founder of Hawk Mountain Sanctuary, famously said, the time to protect a bird is while it's still common. The Environmental Center is probably one of the best places for anybody that wants to just explore and get to know the wildlife and nature of this region. Uh, we've got tours there going every weekend, which you can join. They're free uh, because of our membership supporting our educational programs. And I encourage you to check out Shavers Creek Environmental Center and see what you can learn about your place here in Central Pennsylvania. I think the most important thing anybody can do to really help to improve the environment is first of all, get to know what's out your back uh, yard, or right out your front door. So I hear a robin calling behind me. Uh, right now, this time of year, here in April, we've got uh, wildflowers emerging for the first time in, in many, many months. And so I think uh, getting to realize the land that you live on, the land that you interact with, uh, is living and growing, and, and the decisions we make are part of that. And I think when you have that connection to the landscape, it, you start to think about the impacts uh, of how we, we might use chemicals on our lawn or maybe choose to plant uh, native pollinator species. And so uh, I think one of the best ways to start is just awareness of your place within the environment. This program was brought to you in part by the WPSU Endowment.